Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Mainly Outdoors. My name's Jesse, and today I am gonna show you guys how I find spots. Now, this is, quote unquote, the Google Maps Challenge. I'll tell you right now, something that kind of annoys me is the Google Maps Challenge, it's not a challenge, okay? This is how modern fishermen find good spots in areas that they know nothing about. So I'm gonna show you right now on my phone how I go about finding new locations. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna open up some sort of maps application, switch that over into satellite mode, and from there, I just kinda, I knew I wanted to fish Baxter, so I scrolled into there and decided I wanted to fish some inlet to the Penobscot River. So I started searching around all these different inlets and ultimately decided on this one, simply from the fact that I could see this huge granite slab from space, essentially. And I thought that looked kind of cool. It had a lot of fast moving water, uh, looked like it had a couple little waterfalls in it and um, some large pockets. So I just, and ultimately I thought it'd be a really cool area to check out. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hike down the AT into this random spot I found using the Google Maps challenge. And what is that? Oh my gosh, so we're getting so close to rough grouse season. There's a partridge up here. See him right there? Let's see how close we can get fun. He is not skittish, so at this point I am 10 yards away. All right, sorry about that. I got a little bit distracted by that rough grouse back there. I am getting really excited for October to roll around. I don't remember what I was saying, but let's just get going. I'll probably figure it out as I start walking. So one thing to note, if you're like me, and a lot of places that I go fishing in Maine are really remote and you're not gonna have cell reception at all. When you're out doing stuff like this on your own, just be smart about it, tell someone where you go. And um, yeah, I think we'll be there in no time. Now, I don't remember exactly what the place looks like that I'm going to, uh, but what I did see on the satellite imagery was a really large granite face going down what looked like to be some falls. Gonna, that'll give me a good idea of when I actually get there. Thankfully, that was about as easy as fi to find as I expected. Came across a big granite slate, really cool terrain. Uh, just big granite slabs, you know, not much is growing here. Some cedar, uh, some Low bush br blueberries, lots of lichen, uh, just a really cool area. It's a difficult place to fish, so a lot of this is just pocket water. I've walked down it about a quarter of a mile just to get a feel for it. And uh, I came across this hole back here. This looks like it could hold some fish, a bit deeper, and uh, just some more pocket water in behind it. So I think I'll start fishing here down, and uh, we'll go from there, see what we catch. All right, for starters, we are gonna use this yellow-orange stimulator. Actually, and below that, what we have here is called WD-40s, um, and it's a blue-wing olive emerger pattern, and I saw a lot of blue-wing olives out on the river yesterday, so if that hatch reoccurs, this may be the ticket this morning. All right, so we're gonna try this spot right in behind me here. It's a nice little pocket water. It's got a really steady stream of oxygenated water running into it, and it's, um, Kind of a flat, calm water, but it's got a lot of features of rocks under it, so. Okay, let's see what's in here. I forgot my floating, which is really a bummer. Oh! Nice, so this is the advantage right here of coming out to waters that no one else fishes. This little beautiful brook trout came up immediately. We're just gonna walk him to the end of the pool to avoid hurting him and spooking all the others. Beautiful. All right, so that guy came up for the little stimulator. Nice, beautiful. This looks like, this is definitely a gorgeous native brook trout. Starting to color up for the fall. Oh, look at those spots. I wish I had my camera. You are gorgeous. This water is also just freezing. 
off he goes. That was awesome. First cast, first fish. Uh, this is why I love coming to explore new places. It's just, this area is absolutely spectacular. Uh, that, was, that was awesome. Right there, if I just catch that one fish, that made this trip because uh, you get to explore a new area, catch some beautiful native brook trout. Yeah, I'm pumped. And it's so funny because it's just when you catch a small fish like that, but you put in so much effort to get to that point, I, there's just something spectacular about that. So we caught that fish, um, but I forgot my floatant. So of course that fly only lasts or would only float for a single fish and now it just sinks to the bottom. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch out to something with a lot more foam or foam in general. Uh, it's gonna float by itself without floating. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate I forgot that and that stimulator would probably do pretty good today with these natives, um, but whatever. Oh, <laughs> oh, there we go. I don't know how he fit that in his mouth. Aggressive little fellow. Nice. There we go. Beautiful little brookie. Okay, bad news. Um, well, it'd be fine if I was fishing, but I am filming and the rain started. So I gotta go find some cedar trees before I ruin all my camera chair. Ah. Cedar, where are you at? <laughs> Uh-oh. There's a river. Great, just great. Pine tree, not the best choice, but it'll do. You know, this is part of the struggle of outdoor filming. <laughs> I did plan for it. I have um, rain coverings for my gear because I knew it was potentially gonna rain today. And unfortunately, if it is gonna rain, it's gonna rain hard. All right, well, it looks like the rain's gonna let up a little bit. So we're gonna keep pushing downstream, see what else we can find. I'm gonna be a bit more picky about my spots, cover some ground and uh, see what's available in this spot for next time. Whoa. That's cool. Wow. That, down there. Aerated water, cold temperatures, looks a bit deeper. Log jam down there, that's a good spot. Now I just have to get there safely. Actually, I'm gonna go barefoot on this one. A little more traction. Oh my gosh, they're hitting a frog, he just ate a frog. Oh my gosh, that was a trout. There's no way that was a bass. I've never seen that in my life. I really hope you guys saw that. Yeah, he'll bite this too, although he's probably stuffed. Gotcha. I still cannot believe what I just saw, guys. If you, if I don't have that on film, no one's gonna believe that. I wouldn't believe that. Where am I gonna land you? Come this way. Come on. Let's not spook all your frog-eating buddies. Oh my gosh. All right, easy, easy, easy. Looks like uh, I accidentally stopped it and couldn't, didn't film the release, but I think we're gonna catch another and honestly, they'll probably be bigger.
frog eating trout. That's just nuts. Oh, oh. Bite it. Bite it. Gotcha. Little baby. These guys are hungry. Easy. Easy. I'd net him, guys, but he'd fall right through my net, so no sense. Nice little brook trout. Look at those colors. Pretty, pretty fish. This is such a cool spot. I wish I could catch the frog-eating trout, but... Gotcha. Better quality fish. Still can't net them. <laughs> Oh, fail. Okay. I tried. All right. That was the best spot yet. We did really well down there. I caught, I don't know, four-ish fish. I didn't do the best job at filming them. I like fumbled a lot of them. They just weren't big enough to put in my net, which makes it hard for me to film them and release them. But that's besides the fact. I was pretty impressed with that. I missed a couple big ones, but that's how she goes. I would, I would take some time to switch my flies out, try different things, and maybe even nymph, and I'd probably catch more fish there. Uh, but the goal of today is to explore the river, so just gonna be using that one fly. I really wanna see some dry fly eats, and um, I'll just keep going down the river and, and then find, who knows, even a better hole than that. But now it's time for some delicious instant coffee. I'm just kidding. So anyway, now I'm gonna sit back, relax, enjoy my instant coffee and the scenery. And after that, we're just gonna start moving down the river and see what else we can find here. And it's been a pretty good day though. I think I would have explored, I don't know, a half mile of this river or so, which doesn't sound like much, but when you're fishing, I'm a, I'm a slow fisherman. And this, this is a fast pace for me, so. Ooh, yum. Yum, 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 yum. Well, there you have it. There is the quote unquote Google Maps challenge. And uh, I'll consider it a successful day. So we went out, we caught a couple uh, native brook trout in a beautiful location. And it doesn't get any better than that. Just exploring a new place and catching a few fish. That's right up my alley. But yeah, so I encourage all of you guys to go try that. That is how you find fishing spots. It's not a challenge. <laughs> Kind of just exploring and then luck of the draw. Sometimes you find a good spot, sometimes you get skunked. As for me, I am gonna hike out of here 
And if you guys like this video and you want to see more like this, make sure you hit that like button so I know what you guys enjoy and I'll start to make more of it. And if you want to see more and you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can find the channel again. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next adventure. See ya.